Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I was just browsing on Amazon and I saw this little four-wheel combination lock. And the reason it caught my eye is it comes with a key. And you might think, well, don't all of these little TSA locks have a keyhole for the TSA agents that they can use their special TSA keys and open the lock so they can look in your luggage um, without damaging the lock if they don't know the code, all that kind of stuff. Well, yes, that is true. Here is a very similar TSA lock. And here is the uh, TSA code. This is a 007, so is their TSA 007 key. And a TSA agent um, So you could, will come along and they'll get their bunch of TSA master keys and they'll find the one which fits and they'll open it up. They don't need to know the code, have a look. And uh, this is a detector one. So basically what happens is, is that this pops up uh, if it's been opened. So it's like a detector version, but nevertheless, very, very similar. It's got the same collar, which comes down when you unlock it. And, uh, and, and that's how these work, right? So you can put that on your luggage. TSA agents can um, take this off. Uh, everybody's happy. This, however, although it works in the same way, has a key, the little collar comes down, opens up. You don't need to know the code, although that is actually the code. That doesn't really matter. I'll scramble it and you can see that it works still the same. This key isn't a TSA key. The closest one I could find was the TSA 2, which is this one, TSA Master Key 2. And this does fit in, but it doesn't open the lock. It is actually a completely separate bitting. And this is kind of curious because this means it's not actually a TSA travel lock. Um, but I suppose it does offer the advantage of a backup. So you know your code, um, but if you forget it, then at least you've got a key that you can uh, take this off. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, it is a strange little oddity. I just thought, are they selling these with the same um, uh, keys as like a TSA 7 or something like that? It turns out, no, this is a completely different uh, key. It's not a TSA uh, master key at all. It's just a key that comes with a little padlock as a, as a backup, as a little dual mechanism. So uh, what should we do with this one? I think we need to pick it, then we need to decode it. So let's pop in a bit of tension. I think that that will suffice. And I'm going to gently uh, scrub this with um, a, a rake like that. And then we should get an open all the way around. Oh yeah, there we go. So, I mean, as you would imagine, these are little wafer locks with uh, one, two, three, four wafers in and probably very little in the way of tolerances, but we can lock that back up. Um, in terms of decoding it, then we have to first of all undo it. And of course it's on all zeros like that. And then you have to give it, it doesn't open it. You need to give it a little tug. And um, then what you can do is you can put this in 90 degrees, press down like uh, that. So let's do it this way around so I can't see. And then what we'll do is we'll just give it a, a good old scramble. Bit for the top, bit from bottom, bits in the middle. And then I'll try to find every, these going to a, a position at least so that we're not halfway between a wheel. I think that's everything. Then what I'll do is I'll pop this up, turn it round, push it back down like that, and then give it a good old scramble. I think, yeah. Can we scramble it up or have I broken it already? No, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can. There we go. I've got no idea what that code is now. Some of those wheels didn't want to scramble so well, but right. Now, um, assume this is on a zip, which means you can pull against it. Um, failing that, I've just got another little padlock because you do need to pull on these quite hard. I would just do the same method we normally do, which is find a, uh, put everything in a number and find this, the hardest wheel to turn, which is seemingly wheel hmm, three here. I don't know why, but it is hard to turn. And turn it until we feel it go into a true or false gate. Trying with my fat fingers not to
turn any of the other wheels because that's going to mess things up. I might try this one instead because I can't seem to keep that wheel out of uh, trouble. Maybe that was zero. Eight maybe. Trying to find another number that feels right that we can go back through. So it's not this one, so let's try that. Maybe that's right, okay, F so five. Oh, and we got it, we got it, it's whatever that number is. <laughs> um, I think, is that right? Yeah, it's, oh, have I got it halfway in and out of wheel? Or is it five there? Yes, it's that. So the number was 8582. Ah, oh, that really hurt. Wow, you do have to pull on this. And and I don't have like big, big, big hands, but those little wheels are so like hard. I think I might try doing that with a, um, um, yeah, by turning like like this using a little screwdriver. So, but there you go, uh, decoded. Um, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> just so I don't forget, I'm gonna pop those back to zero while I still can. Because uh, that just makes sense to me to put put everything to zeros, so I don't have to remember what code it is or decode it next time. But yeah, little generic lock from Amazon. I just thought it was interesting that you don't have to get a TSA version where you don't get a key if you want to have um, a little travel lock. Not that I think they offer any security whatsoever. Um, that can't be open with a TSA key and gives you a backup key. Then you've got that option, I guess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. A curious little lock. Um, if you did leave a like, any comments, leave them below. I do reply to as many as I can. I certainly read them all. If you haven't subscribed and want to see more content like this, then please do subscribe and I'll see you all next time.